talk about the announcement that Thursday President Donald Trump will be visiting what we assume will be the Keys, obviously, since that was the hardest hit. Now, his last trip for a hurricane, mm -hmm. Hurricane Harvey, he was criticized by some because... Took him two chances to get that one right. Right, right. So what do you think uh, he will do? What do you think the plans are for him come Thursday? We're still waiting. This was only announced within about, oh, an hour or two ago that the president would be coming to Florida. His itinerary hasn't been finalized yet, but as you said, I would expect that he would go to the Florida Keys. I would also think there's a good likelihood that he'll be on the southwest coast of Florida. Uh, that's an area that heavily supported him as well. So the question is, when he comes to the Keys, you know, you can will he provide that level of empathy that some felt was missing? Another way to phrase it, will he hug a conch? <laughs> hey, why not? You're in Key West, after all. Now, the Key's biggest problem, Jim, is, appears to be communication. What are the issues that you see? Look, cell phone service is completely obliterated in the Keys and remains so. One of the things that I know from talking to emergency managers is this is an area they're looking to both corporate, corporate solutions through AT&T, but also the military. One of the things that you see those Chinooks and others bringing in are advanced teams that can help with a number of things. First, making sure the runways in Key West and Marathon and at the Naval Air Station in Key West are able to land big flights like the C-130s. From what I understand, that's all been cleared. But now that you can start bringing those bigger planes, you can also start bringing in communication systems that can help alleviate the problem. Here's a funny irony. What, you know, if you were a Luddite and you didn't really go very far in terms of switching your internet cell, your internet service to include your phone service, landlines, I'm hearing, are working in the Florida Keys. What are those? Exactly. Well, try this one if you think that's hard. <laughs> Fax machines. If you have a fax machine in the Keys, if you're listening to this on radio, and have an old fax line number, plug your phone into it, you very well may be able to dial out. The problem is nobody knows anybody's fax number to dial right. in. I was going to say, next you're going to say beepers are working <laughs> in the U.S. Um, I have a question about the Monroe County School. So we've heard from Superintendent Carvalho, Superintendent Runcie from Broward and Miami-Dade. What's happening in Monroe? So I spoke to Superintendent Mark Porter. He's the uh, head of the school right. system there in Monroe County. It's an elected position, actually. Uh, actually, no, it's an appointed position. It was switched over. But anyway, I spoke to Superintendent Porter, and he is taking it, obviously, on a day-by-day -day basis. It's very unlikely that schools will open this week. It's not so much that there was damage in the schools. The early reports that they've gotten from the schools themselves are that they sustained some damage, but not terrible. Marathon High School may have some level of flooding that was associated with it. The problem is if you don't have electricity, if you don't have running water, right. and you don't have sewer systems, then how can you actually have students attending classes? What will likely end up happening is that the keys will probably co start coming back online in a staggered system. The same way that you're seeing residents returning the upper keys first and then the middle and lower keys will come later, probably the school system will likely follow that same suit. Upper keys will probably open first with middle and lower keys to follow, but nobody can predict exactly when that might happen. It's on a day-by-day -day basis and it's really not so much an issue of the schools as it is the infrastructure structure in the county overall. This is a colossal blow to the Keys. Yeah. They're so dependent on tourism down there. I know you